Hey guys, the Lime Inspector here, and welcome to Danganronpa episode 68. We're currently doing this very early, actually. Well, comparatively to usual, so we should be able to focus more during this trial. I should have the audio correct, too, so this will be a, a big improvement over the last one. Because oh, trial dear. 5, I hated to have to edit those videos, because I couldn't hear myself. I, did yeah. YouTube just hear me uh, say, oh shit, after I stubbed my toe? I, I heard something. I heard something, but I think I was talking over you. Oh, okay. <laughs> and plus, it doesn't matter if we curse, because we're not able to be monetized or anything of that sort, so it doesn't matter. I guess I'm the first one this time. Makoto. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say a swear word. For it. <gasps> I know, I said a bad word, oh my god, I said frick! We're gonna get killed by the CIA, how could you? You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? You know, I'm not even sure how the, how much the evolution of Kyoko's voice came to be. Because I really do have a specific cadence for her, you know? Especially compared to Yuri. Hey, Yuri, uh, I got a hint for you. Uh, share your what? screen. Yeah, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However... Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said, everybody came piling in. There's Baka. Yakia! Oh. <laughs> Bakula? Did the music just die or what just happened? B Biakia? Oh, there is no music playing right now. I can. Okay. The black, the background music, like, little thing up in the top is super helpful to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll be right back. Can... My mom uh, wants me to do something for her. Okay. But it's super helpful to make sure that um you can, you can see whether the music was on or not. They arrived, one after another, but they were all in the same state of shock. Oh, now Ali's mad. Hina? Hero? What about Toko? Silence. It wasn't any normal silence, it was a deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me and so I appear! Oh, how do I do this? Oh, man. This bitch, I swear. Okay, um. Ah, I'm late! I must give her the raspiest, squeakiest voice possible. Oh, I'm on fire! Ah, strong, silent, Miss Master, so wonderful, so cool, so hot, my loins are ablaze. Yes! Now listen, everything. Uh, uh, everything will be uh, just fine if you leave it to me. My my scissor sharp si yeah, my scissor sharp sh scissors and hand, I'll stab and gouge and shift the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but a verbal little boy. <laughs> if it's what master wants, it can be a boy, girl, or anything in between, I, I can handle it. Achoo! Oh, there she goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, where am I? Oh, great, we gotta <sighs> deal with gloomy, gloomy two shoes over here. Oh boy. <laughs> this is so. This is such a good line, I swear. No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I like that all four of my characters are the only ones being voiced. All of his. All of Notchus' characters are so. just staying silent. This is really funny. <laughs> is everyone here? Oh, and wearing our gloomy Gus faces, I see. Well now. Okay, well then, let's begin. Thrills, chills, kills! This final class trial is gonna be slathered in pitch black despair, climax, cl climaximum moments, so climaximum sorrow. How does a moment? That's There's fine. no moment in there. I swear to God. <laughs> You're right. This is the final class trial. And this time, it'll be fair. How strange. 
What do you mean this time? Stop with all your all the slander. I'm a bear in good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home with the tiara every year. Oh, I'd take home the tiara every year. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, I'm feeling white. Does that mean you're feeling racist? No. I'm just kidding. And I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows that despair is mightier than Stop that hope. Talking. What? Then the hope? Then the hope. Oh my. So I guess I gotta wait for Bakula Bakula Kogami to get back. I may as well voice him. I don't know where he is, so. Enough of your tedious driver. Just begin the trial already. <laughs> Just begin the trial already, Jimmy. Sure, sure, let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. So don't try and run away. <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. Hmm. hmm, whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. With, a, with an inexplicable confidence, Byaka was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. <laughs> nobody made eye contact, nobody said a word, they just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However... But you know why that is, don't but but you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However Well, you can tell us all about it soon. At the class trial. You're right, I'm ready. So Ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko is aboard the elevator. Let's go, brother. I started making my way towards the opening, step after step toward the toward that gaping mall. I'd resolve I'd resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated my, to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed calmed my trembling body, and finally, on steady legs, went down to the elevator. I passed the threshold and stood on the elevator. <sighs> Look how empty it is, jeez. Without warning, it began began to descend. Deeper and deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper still. Deeper deep, and deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper it fell. This is like some kind of kid's book, all of a sudden. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I, I waited. I waited. Yeah, I waited for the... Elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later? I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. I gently opened the door. What is this? This is the ch final trial side? What do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's peace? It's a long way last stage, but... Always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> I'm gonna sit sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Thrills, chills, kills. Well then, let's begin. I wanna save. Um, no, no I need to. Okay, what skills do I? I mean, I think I got all my skills already. Yeah, can't really do anything, but. About that. Okay, sure. Everything's good there. Finish preparations. Let's go. Trial all rise. Number six. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Oh god, what is it? So listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! Oh, okay. That but sounds good. if you can't, then I win! 
And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment! I love that he has a booster seat too, that's really funny. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. I want to see a bear get pounded. And that's fine. Don't take that out of context. No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? No, he's not. He's dying inside. Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! Okay, here we go. We gotta solve all this stupidity. Oh man. I hate everything. Group photo should be, right? You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right! Hey, you stole my line! You're all oh, out yeah. to get me! I'm sure of it! I have evidence of my own! What a coincidence. I too have evidence to evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working to what? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Aw oh, man. Okay. All three of them from the everyone around them is their enemy. There's no doubt this is a trap moniker was set. Especially sure there's something that proves it. Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have there we go. No, that's wrong. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right, because in my picture... See? Oh. I'm the only one not in it. This is... That's so nice to look at. I figured as much in which Hero, case. you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. Sure it is. You know, this is, why is Celeste just in the background, just standing there, in all of them? She's just there. Like, she was, she was in the very back in the, oh, there's Genocide Jack. So she was a thing. There's Leon, Kyoko. So they're all wearing uniforms, except for it looks like Celeste and... Leon. I guess a Fumi too, maybe Sakura. I'm not sure. That's interesting. That's very interesting to look at. Mono's sleeping. There's Mukuro. Makoto. Chihiro. Okay. Man. Let's, this is... So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care! You guys are all in on this together! That's why I'm the only one missing! But you're in my picture! You're the ones trying to trick me! What about Biakya? So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? Rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? Uh, I don't know the fact that you're trying to kill us, for one. Proof I need to reveal Mo Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person is up shown in group photos. The ones who got the photos, Toko, Monokuma. I got it! In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. 
So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. Celeste, I mean, Celeste is once again standing there in the back of you know, comfortable. Does she not like pictures or something? In the picture Hina got, I'm she's finally the back. only one missing. Oh yeah, so, so currently they're looking at, um, the pictures, like pictures of everybody. And I was, I was trying to switch, uh, the fucking, uh, it was on my, uh, my tiny phone speaker, not my big one. Okay. Well, I got. I well, well there's a something you can, you could see right here. That's interesting. It's just a. It's just a neat little thing. All right. Let's finally, I got it on the right channel. Okay. So this is the picture. So you know how Makoto got a picture of all of them in the um. And the like all of all everybody but him in a classroom, but they're all posing for a picture, right? Sorry, yeah, I was, I was doing something. Okay, so so in this picture, this is the one Hina got, and she's not in it, right? Which I also I also I just think it's I think it's just nice to look at because you see Taka, Biaki is not in his normal attire, you know, Sakura is about to just trample Makoto. And then Psyche is in the lead. Makoto, Leon, and Fumi are given out. Celeste is back there, just looking suspicious, you know. Maybe Kyoko and Hero, Mukuro too, and Junko. Junko. And one thing I noticed. So there's two things I've noticed about these pictures, right? Celeste is always in the background looking uncomfortable. You can never see Junko's face. Like if we go, and in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. And 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 this picture too, Junko, you can't see her face. And then there's Celeste in the background looking uncomfortable again. So I don't understand why that is. And and also Mukuro looking depressed as well, like she doesn't want to be there. And all the and then all the others having a relatively good time. I don't know why Sakura has such a fascination with grasping Kafumi's head too, but you know. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Hey, really? What? <laughs> In other words. Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Dude, th those photos were probably photoshopped, I would say. Uh, I mean, that that that'd be that'd be real funny. That'd be real funny. Oh my god! Like he gave each person like a group photo of like that like genuine pictures of them all like in a group, and just photoshop oh, right. that person. Oh, out. that that's what yeah. you meant. Yeah, that you know you're probably right. Actually, that would make more sense than just putting put just fabricating entire photos full of people and scenes. This is what I was thinking of. If, if she actually did that, that'd be pretty impressive and fucking hilarious. So. That'd be so impressive. <laughs> Imagine trying to do that. That'd be crazy. But you know, there might be more that, more to this than Mon Monokuma is trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging at me? Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. So there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. This 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 one looking pretty good, I can't lie. Sakura <laughs> Why is there a giant fish in the pool? Nato, I need I need you to assess this scene along with me, okay? 
Okay, so you see, you see Sakura. <laughs> you see Sakura. He just jumps out like a fucking anime, like final boss. Holy <laughs> goddamn fish! <laughs> Why is there a fish in the pool? Then poor Hifumi. Why you gotta do that to my man? He's gonna, he's gonna hit his head off the cement and die. Talk yeah, is going swimming. Yeah. Look at Mondo over there. My man is picked up. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, look. Junko, her face is blocked out. Her face is blocked out in every photo. Look how pale... Pa Mukuro is just as pale as Celeste is, too. They look so similar. They look strikingly similar to one another. Celeste is once again in the background, being uncomfortable. And so is Toko, but, you know, that's normal. Then we got Aoi being a lifeguard, makes sense. She's like, don't do that, Sakura, what are you doing? Makoto's ogling Kyoko and Saika, I don't blame him. What's with the giant stripper pole in the middle of the floor, too? There's so many, so many confusing. Biakis picture. Hina's picture. Once again, so Toko and Celeste are in the background. She can't see Junko's face. Toko, Toko's spying on Biaki, I think that makes sense. Celeste is back there and can't see Junko's face, and also Mukuro is being depressed. And the same thing here, too. Mukuro is just there. Celeste is back there. Toko is also back there. And Junko, you can't see her face. There's something strange about all of them, something I can't quite pin down. Something. Photos been Can you Pretty just cool. forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Oh, so they actually do believe the entire photo was photoshopped. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no way! Yeah! I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable, entirely horrifying reason. Oh! Time for Hangman's Gambit. What's it gonna be? What's the word? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I gotta say an E, right? No, no. M. It should be Amnesia. Yeah. Amnesia. That was weird. Come here. Yep, there you go. Now I understand. Amnesia. Let's say that somehow, we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. You know, if it was anybody else, I think I would think they're being sarcastic. As if you expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? Never mind, he was being sarcastic. Yeah, we all lost our memories. That's just crazy. Nachos, is it just me or has Hero gotten smarter? That's a scary thought. It's like Patrick Star getting smarter. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But, in that, but no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. 
They can't can't move forward until they accept it. And there's no other way to prove it besides those pictures. Interview DVD, Headmaster's E Handbook, Group Photo. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into oh, some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the oh. idea that we all lost our memory is totally stupid. Okay, Obviously. And we also and we all suck you know. You're saying we all got since when did this turn into- I promise you, ever since I got to the- I remember everything that's happened. Also there we go. No, that's wrong. Also meter. Bro, <laughs> Those photos just are the, same the only thing. things that point to the possibility of memory loss. And we also meter. <laughs> what are our brains doing? Our brains are malfunctioning. From too much, from over a hundred hours of banging off for trigger happy habit. This DVD does the same thing. <laughs> you're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? Yes, Toko, you're about to watch a sex scene between Makoto and Saika, of course. N no, it's nothing like that. Not yet. <laughs> Look, there's Saika. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. You lie. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Yes. Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. That's interesting. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Wrong. Actually, we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever, or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane. How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true. That's interesting. What? I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed, we only have one path in front of us. Then we really... Yep. You all totally lost your memory at the same time! But how did that happen, was the question. This is all... making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. 
There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. But how could someone just steal our memories? How? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. Hmm. The original motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Oh boy. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. So until we do that? Well, either way, we have to explain every last room of mystery, so... The one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind. That's who we need to expose. What are you even doing right now, Nachos? Are you just chilling? So who did it? Pretty much. Who killed her? Yeah, because you, you can't hear anything. You just hear me talking to myself. Everything. That much I'm sure of. <laughs> but when you think about it. Is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course. They have to be here somewhere. Same this fucking what same song so that my that my brother is playing over and over again in his room. In his room. What? Just listening to like so the faint sure. sounds. Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. It's considerably loud. The mastermind is and he's also watching TikTok at the same time. Yes. Okay. That's right. No, that's wrong. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. It would it would have been a lot smarter to just not be in the school, the mastermind. But you know, they're all about fairness. So I don't know. This game is weird. You know, you gotta wonder why out of the chipmunks they don't have any pants. Quantum physics. Quantum physics. Okay. They just got their penises erased off, and I. Like a, a particle accelerator. They turned in the they turned into the sand chipmunks. Turned them into potato skins. Turned them into potato skins. Oh my! I eat them with my French fries every day. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? Have you had those In TGI Fridays the potato center, skins? I found a panel that controls Monokuma. I've never had potato skins. <laughs> On TGI Fridays, I don't think that's a thing that we have around here, so... It's not... A, oh, I, I didn't know it was regional. I mean, I think it is. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. But I do not recall it being near where I live. A lot of things are regional. You know, very few things aren't, like Walmart and McDonald's and Coca-Cola. Because, like, the Midwest and the South and the and New England and the West, West, they all have, like, different... They have a lot of different things that are regional to those specific places. Although, I'm not sure what New England has, to be honest with you. They got Boston. That's that's all I have to tell you. They got Boston. Yeah, well, you know, Ohio, you know, you guys have Skyline Chili, that's all I know of. 
We have chili with well, cinnamon good. in it, which I think is kind of strange. Yeah, it sounds good. It could be. You never know. The mastermind no, must no, no, have no, been no, using that to control him all this time. Spaghetti? Really? Yeah, they put it in like spaghetti noodles. Oh, just like, just spaghetti noodles. Okay, I guess that make yeah, that might make sense, yeah. I thought I thought they like you made spaghetti and then poured chili on it. It's like what? Is, what are you? No. <laughs> yeah. No. But, yeah, they over like uh, spaghetti noodles and yeah. they put cinnamon on it and, or in it. I don't, I'm not sure. And I've always thought it strange. I don't know. I don't. I don't like try to judge it, but I just I'm not a big fan of like. Sweet chili or anything like that. I mean, it sounds good. It'd be nice. Like my chili to be. I say. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. I don't really like spicy on that, but there can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt. I do that like the chili with a little bit of peanut butter in it, though. You like you like chili with peanut butter? Yeah, or chili with a peanut butter sandwich. Um, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I I mean, I, I've never heard of that before, but... You know, that sounds like something my great-grandfather would eat. I mostly eat, like, I mostly eat, like, grilled cheese with it. Yeah, a, gr a grilled cheese makes more sense. I, you know, I could go for a grilled cheese right now. Honestly, same, but... I don't know if we have all the ingredientes for it. You're missing cheese and bread and butter. Oh, we got we got some bread. No, you're missing bread. Only bread. Do you have the cheese and butter for no bread? What? Why? No, we have bread. Recall what Makoto and, told uh, us Monokuma we also said have to cheese. him earlier. Hmm. That's good. But I think I'm just gonna settle for a ham sandwich. Yeah, ham sandwich. I need to make me some food, but I guess we gotta be here for a little while. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in hope speak since the killing game began. Are those 16 students? So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. Yeah. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! Taka, what? Do you see this right now? That's kind of that, no. That, what? That took a... Why me? Cause it's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Oh, oh that's man, right. You know, Tucko is does have a point in saying that. That is true. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, oh, right? Your jeans? What happened to your jeans? Yeah, my jeans. Oh, your jeans? My cheese. Oh, your jeans. I thought you said jeans or tees. I was like, cheese? Cheese. Is that a cheese. squirrel? That squirrel is currently trying to fight with a arapaima or barracuda. No, that's not. A, what is that? A tuna? I don't know what's happening right now. It's a colorful piranha like fish. I have no idea. Aw, nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? What is happening? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear Flavor soon Flavor is about to happen for Just me. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. Who killed Mukuro? That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. 
Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. <sighs> uh, Nachos, look, look at Monokuma. Look at Monokuma when it's just his right side. That that This is a cursed image right here, I gotta be honest. Monokuma really is a strange design. What's a strange design? I mean, look, look at look at Monokuma right now. Like, look at his look look at him when he just has half of him. Doesn't it just like doesn't isn't it cursed to you? It seems uncanny. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, because it because it's just like a normal teddy bear. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Makoto's actual cause of death must have been... The other words, right? Yeah. I got it! Because those are the spears. The covering her body. <laughs> That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Well, they're the oldest, which means they're the most likely to have been Consider this. first. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. Because... Because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... Y you know... You're wrong. <laughs> she denied me. <laughs> Before I could even say anything. What is happening right now? Toko, stop being the way that you are. Nachos, help me. She's getting horny. What? Toko's getting horny. Help. She's getting horny. Help. <laughs> no. Look at her. She's getting horny. I don't know. She's gonna kill us all with her horniness. She's gonna squirt all over the place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Come on. I mean, you think I'm. I mean, look, I mean, look. I don't know if you're at your computer right now or whatever, but if you were looking at this right now, she. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me! If you're so sure we're gonna deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? Jesus. Her voice actor has put up so much, doesn't she? Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in oh, a hundred different battles. Yeah. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all those wounds in battle. I think Are that's finished? it. You didn't deny me that. You Don't worry. There wasn't anything cute about it. Sure. Mukuro was the up she must have been so when you obviously she got all those wounds in battle. Yes, I got no, it. That's wrong. No. Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To be denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. She's getting horny, no. Oh, maybe it's because of all of Master's training. 
training. Anyway, so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Damn, some big old bazongas. Anyways. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? The identity of the one who attacked me. It can't be anyone else. I can't think of anyone else. Oh, it was the master. I got it! The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> you know, I like that. What are you laughing at? I like that during, the, during this trial, you're just making a ham sandwich. <laughs> well, usually I'd be asleep, so... You know, yeah, yeah, better... better than nothing, you know? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? Are we about to go into a, 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 a little, little thingy thing with Monokuma? No, there's no way M Mukuro is the one that attacked me, even if I didn't see their face. Looked pretty very obvious spin rear tattoo comparing that to the masked attacker. It should be obvious. Oh, just this one. Okay. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea. I'm telling you now, it was more. You're wrong. Even there's another part of the attacker we can. Oh, and what is it? The right hand or the um. left hand? Maybe the right foot. Stop the or perhaps the left foot. Oh, it's one of or them. Or could it be the hips? You never saw their face, so you can't get the right I'm hand I'm telling instead. you now, you're wrong. There's another part of the... Oh? Is it the right hand or the left hand? Maybe the right foot. Or like perhaps... This? Or could it be the hips? The hips. Look how he's You the never hips. saw their... So you can't have any... I'm telling you now, it was... Yeah, okay, no, so it was the right hand, not the left one. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. Is and that... there was oh. no such tattoo. Yeah, never mind, I see now. That makes sense. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. 
But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure, it couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. I guess you're right. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? My titties. What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Okay. Before anyone could say anything. What is happening? Kyoko was. Oh! Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burnt Awful, skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. Oh, wow. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. My scars should suffice as proof. Yeah, wow, that was, uh, that's interesting. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? Do you want to know how I got these scars? Do you want to know how I got these scars? Batman. Batman. Now I got these scars. <clears throat> Notches. Do you want to know how Kyoko got these scars? How she get these scars? I don't know. She burned herself, I guess. I'm not sure. She burnt her both her hands completely, apparently. Damn, she killed herself. Yeah, she killed herself. Bro, that's so sad. No, not at all. I'm positive. Isn't it so sad? <laughs> isn't, isn't, so <laughs> isn't, isn't it so sad that Steve Jobs died of ligma? Dude, that was that was so sad. Yeah. Isn't it so like, sad? How that Kyoko, sad is that, bro? Isn't it so sad that Kyoko Kirigiri died of ligma? And now I keep her corpse in a, um, a refrigerator for reasons. <laughs> You're doing raptor noises. Okay. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. I'm doing a very quiet version of it. <laughs> this is just awful. On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You sound like... You sound like... Some devil is invading your body. Uh, sorry. Did I say no, that just out some, loud? some basic voice I remotes, bro. <laughs> I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm not See? cornered My just yet. Up, no. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? I said, "See, my voice is warmed up now." Yeah, well, you ain't gonna be doing much talking. <laughs> well, not voice acting, anyways. You get, you yeah, get you probably you gotta get, get that throat lubricated. <clears throat> oh yeah! Throat lubrication inbound. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. Oh, my mom's calling for me. Mm -hmm. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary. 
We don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. About that one. I'm about to died, make grilled cheese on video. How much time went by before we found her, right? We need our, you need, you need our, we need our, uh, Dang and Rapa Trigger Happy Havoc Grilled Cheese Making Tutorial. <laughs> that reminds me of the video I took down. Yeah, I know, I know it does. That, that was a good video. It's so stupid. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's stupid. Stupid is good. Stupid is, <laughs> stupid is fun. And fun is good. <laughs> I love having just like some, like putting on some like stupid r s like southern accent, like really and bastardized. You're, and you're yelling, and you're and yelling at your brother, like you're in some kind of abusive relationship. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, you look you look back on those days fondly, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> it was it was hilarious in its own right, but like yeah. it's, it's not it's who not you like, are. Totally, like I see funny, like I see different things funny nowadays. Yeah, understandable. Like I, I have more sophisticated humor. Sophisticated, yes, certainly, certainly, certainly. No, but I, but I still have my dumb moments. Oh yeah, well I know that. You don't want to read with that. I, I don't go a single video without having a dumb moment. And that's great. We, I mean, hey, more, more, uh, more moments to put in the best of. <sighs> the the yeah. gold stasher somewhere. She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? And I also she have was. concerning she moments. She would have been totally decomposed, just like your brain. Yeah, we we know. Yeah, we we rediscovered one of those concerning moments the uh, the other day. I feel like I'm dying. No, no. The Sayori one. The what? The the say the Sayori one where she was next to the closet with the apple juice. Oh no. You better yeah. get this button. No. I'm gonna lead people straight to it. This one's gonna blow up, get 10,000 views, and people are gonna be like, Ooh, now I have to go check out what they're talking about. And be like, WHAT?! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that was... That was, like, really fucked up on my part. Like, I, I don't make j jokes like that anymore. I don't... No. I, mean, I was just grabbing for, like, really weak fucking... Humor, like low bar shit. I was just no, doing yeah, anything like, to kill the that, that's, the low, that's, that. a, that's that is the lowest bar you could have gone for. You could have got something up from here. I feel like. Anyways, like, then there's way less disgusting and horrid somewhere? shit that you could joke about. Even in the sex genre. You can make sex jokes. It's like, there are yeah. plenty of funny sex jokes. So many. So many. We, like, I mean, uh, everything we talk about with Kyoko and Makoto, those are all, like, funny little sex jokes, like, hee hee funny. <laughs> yeah. Those ones are really fucking dumb, though. Yeah, the, and the worst part is, um, the, the video I titled Sex in the Bathroom <laughs> is my second most viewed video. And it was with Makoto and Kyoko. That well, people are just watching it because they're like, look at these dumb motherfuckers talking about fucking this mad shit over dang and rump. <laughs> oh, no, they probably, they probably, no, it's, it's probably a bunch of horny 12 year olds trying to type sex into Google, I mean, into YouTube and see what pops up. Bro, well, probably. And then they just stumble like, pop that And then their parents catch them. It's like, why are you listening like, to it? What the fuck are you watching? <laughs> why are you why are you listening to two teenage boys watch anime girls? 
No, they'd probably be like, Why are you watching these bad men? You're saying bad words. These bad men saying bad words. There's one there's one thing up there's one thing you missed up men. That's not true. Bad boys. Saying bad words. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do when they come for you? Oh, shit. But uh, to hide I'll do a that. body here, to just store it somewhere. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? The bio lab. I got it. Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. The bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a moor. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. All right. And it'd keep the body preserved now, at the same time. Now, first part of the grilled cheese. You gotta get your bread. Okay. <laughs> then you're uh, step one, bread. Step one, bread. Move on. Step one, Only bread. bread. Step two, butter. Step three, cheese. Step four, <laughs> toast. Step five, pan. Step six, eat. Step <laughs> seven, shit. <laughs> you won't believe number seven. <laughs> yeah. Number no, you won't believe number seven. View this weird trick discovered by a mom. So I'm sure number seven will surprise you. Oh boy. And I have no oh, doubt that that's, that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. I'm I'm Sayori, and I approve of number seven. Yes. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Oh god, no. Nobody's gonna want it then. No. <laughs> I'm Sleepy Joe. What is- well, how do you even do- how- how is anybody even supposed to impersonate him? Because Trump has such a- like, you know his voice, but Joe Biden, he has just like a- his voice isn't really yeah, interesting. I'm, Joe. I'm Joe Biden. <laughs> Well, it's also because nobody our age could do his voice because his voice is entirely rasp. And Donald's, Donald Trump's voice is entirely orange, so... <laughs> entirely orange. Well, his his voice is like he's trying... It's, it's almost like me trying to do the Yuri voice at the beginning of DDLC. You know? But older. And the proof that shows that the body was carried from the bio lab to the guard, there's something we made it. Alright. The top. Oh, yes. I got it! What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says Biolab. What is happening right now? Uh-oh. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. <laughs> nitpicky nature. This proves that the tarp originally came from the Biolab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. Not this? So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the coat on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent. But that's just a wild guess! Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved! There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. 
Hello. Hmm. There he is. Hello, good sir. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Worked up? Uh, yeah? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. An inconsistency in the bio lab? Could you be talking about- La la la, I can't hear you! La 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 la! I'm confused. Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hmm, I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab, could you be talking hey, about- Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? Hmm? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? 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 <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? What? <laughs> What's happening? Why are you bringing that up now? To scare you. Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that! Wow. Oh no, Makoto. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. Inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. What? What's he talking about? Oh no! Oh no! Wait! Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Pro, pro, pro! Are you sure about this? Pro, pro, pro! Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? Uh-oh. Okay. I'm not listening! What? What? I mean, like... What? What do you want? I'm something... not listening! Oh my god. There's more. That makes more sense now. I'm so stupid. <clears throat> is. is. I refuse to give up yet! Completely forgot about the mechanic. <sighs> okay, well. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Never in my life did I think I'll refer to a fool as insane. You never. You'd what now? Are you sure about this? I said bro, never bro, bro. did I think Are that I'll sure refer to a fool as insane. A pickle Are as you insane. Sure about this? Insane pickle. What? What do you want? 
Are like you these sure pickles that we get, that we have, they're like uh, proof, proof. all these brands of fucking garden pickles, are you sure and they are about really this? fucking. Proof, proof, proof. I'm so bad at the. Oh, holy mackerel! This should prove it. Uh oh, that's right. Oh my god. <clears throat> Jesus. That was way, way harder than it should have been. The inconsistency or it was Yoko's way easier than is... I made it seem. The lights! <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. Clickbait, and as be part like. of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. Clickbait be like. That's where everyone who's died is stored. Yeah. Nachos. And it was set yawns. up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. Nachos dies on camera. That's even better clickbait. I mean, that would have been true in like what was it, episode. 57 or something like that? Yeah, I think it was. Was it long- was it- was it that long ago? That the I feel like I'm dying happened? Really that long ago, was it? Yeah, I know, I think it was. I think it was episode 57. I don't even remember the- what happened throughout the 60s. To be honest with you? I don't know. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in, and there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Nine light doesn't make sense. The number of light that should be on would be ten. I got it! Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. Yeah, that's right. The key to solving this mystery. <coughs> Sayaka died first. Junka was second. Leon was third. Chihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taku was sixth, and then Fibri was seventh. Celeste was eighth. And Sakura was ninth. Oh, and victim of ten was Mukuro, allegedly. Hmm. So ten people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it! The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Ah! Then... Oh, my earbud! Whose body disappeared? Why did you scream like say over there for a second? It may very well be that none of them disappeared. I did not scream like say over here. You did. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? In it was high pitch, but it was not say over <laughs> There have apparently been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. You're That's tripping. the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason there are less bodies. Whatever you smoking, I want some. Oh, I'm smoking something. <laughs> Next yeah, you sound like a thirty-year-old smoker. Oh, really now, Jimmy? Mm. I sound like Gilbert Gottfried. Even though I don't. His voice isn't that bad. I can get- I can- I can try. Just like this. No, he yells. He's like this! He's more like this! 
An explanation for more murders of victims. Why is that? So it sounds like <laughs> James Hetfield. Sure, whatever that means. He's what not, would he sounds it like fucking Metallica, bro. Damn, uh, Brian, you for God breed. <laughs> well, he is dead, so. Why would it? What would it take for that to make sense? Um, same person was killed twice. Um. Actually, yeah, what would that be? It would be one of these two. I guess technically only nine movies did take place. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's the other one, because they're not good. I got the. Shoot! I got it! What about if the same person was killed twice? Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered, and then Jesus. murdered again. Murdered and... murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. But still... Something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? <laughs> it was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. Thank you, Kyoko. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. You know, that's the, um, the downside to having such unique little murders, is that... They all have different body groups. For him, Nothing's gonna become obvious! Because Kyoko's totally delusional! Sure. Make your argument. What do we do? Okay. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? No. Junko and Oshima? Yep. Nope. Oh, man. Okay, well, I take Shoot. Shiko then. Who is this someone else that moved? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko and Oshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mondo Owada, Kiyotaka Ishimaru, Kifumi Yamada, Celestia Lu, whatever, or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered. Tw there we go. No, that's wrong. Junko, wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... Then the similarities match? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long, 
before being dragged out again. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. Then it's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Yeah, we've been we've been on this track the whole time and now they're finally getting to it. Mukuro and Junko are are the same person. They have been the same person. Wait, so then <clears throat> what does it all mean? It means that Junko must still be alive. It means that there haven't been 10 victims, but 9. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the Mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. Toko, my god. She took Junko's body and made it look like she was the one who died. Okay, that would be a interesting. That would be a rather easy assumption to come to. Let me get that one. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gonna be. Total silence. Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro alive. That's the one that's still alive is Mikro, but can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mikro Kusaba is still alive. Make your argument. No, no, no. Um, okay, we'll see what happens. The body was found injury. in the garden. It wasn't Mikro. It wasn't Mikro. Then she's still alive. That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is. Oh, I remember. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm. Why? Hmm. Why is that old? Who knows? The body we found it wasn't Mukuro. There we go. That's no, easy. that's wrong. No, the body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She was five foot six inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. But if Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? So it's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. <sighs> Where is she? There she is. Hello. Junko Inoshima. Here's my answer! Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about- Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. Are you absolutely sure about that one, buddy? But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. Are you absolutely phantasmagoodly? Why did you turn into hero all of a sudden? What's happening? If Junko <laughs> were still alive, the death we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now she mentioned it. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say, she was gone. 
I did check, absolutely. I can say she for sure. was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So, the idea that she's still alive. It must be wrong. No, Makoto, no. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion was a dud. <laughs> too bad, too bad. Oh, man. This case hasn't been decided just yet. There we go, Kyoko. Uh -oh. Fine. You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? I checked her, she was dead, I'm sure of it. But still, she were alive somehow. Could it be Junko's not the one that died? It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely. Maybe she used some sort of trick. There we go, finally. Figuring this thing out too. What is it actually? What? What is this supposed to be? Isn't rep? Replaced? Is there a, is there a, there's an L? Cause this was, this was confusing. There's A, there's an A, right? K, and then I'm in E. Don't know why there's P's and stuff lying around. There's an N. I don't need an N, I need a P, thank you. Replaced. Now I understand! That's it! What if she switched places Complete. with someone else? Complete? Oh, complete. I understand. No, Complicated. I oh. Complete is also like a fancy way to say complete. Switch places? That's right! Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place! Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba! Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? You must do... Mustard? Oh Did you just say mustard? No, I said must have been. Not because I know. <laughs> I know so. I know a little secret, or not a secret. What was it? Am a hint that they gave us at the very beginning of the game. Remember? Do you remember it all? When we first met Junko in the um like the main area where we met everybody else and like it, we were looking at her magazines and makoto was like huh doesn't match up to reality and and then junko was like oh, oh, this is photoshop and junk what if now that, that would make perfect sense why it didn't match up to the magazines because it's not the same person so they switched before this even began that is that is good writing right there that's so brilliant. More than I would have ever thought. Hid, hid the final answer in plain sight from the very beginning. Right when she was uh, about to die? 
Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. At the beginning. I got it! The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the switched beginning? at the beginning. At the beginning, Jimmy. At the beginning, the alley. Alley, I'll see you. Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched, then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So, you're saying the Junko we first met was actually Mukuro all along? Yeah, you can see it in the hair. She just dyed it. That's really funny. already met her? They they hid the entire answer in plain sight at the very beginning of the game. That is so good. So smart. I had like a normal conversation with her. <laughs> when we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, but Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? Not that I'm aware of. She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. But... If she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny <clears throat> it anymore. Wait, so... this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? That is so... wow. That is good. That is, that is really good. If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair! Yeah, I guess so. Monokuma. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? <clears throat> What's that mean, afraid? Is this the reveal? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity? When did I do that? So he still refuses to admit it, but he can, he can try to deceive us all he wants, but it doesn't matter. Because I've already figured it out. Should have hide Junko's identity not not just once but twice. First time he was di was during our latest investigation. 
Talking about the explosion? Um. Turn, okay, yeah, no. Kill for the count. How about the. Is it this? It guess it has to be. I got it! It is? While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster. It wasn't just the monitor, the, D the DVD played player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Well, what the heck just happened? Oopsie, looks like I broke out of service. What, so it just happened to break just now? Now then, when? Now then, when? Doesn't matter. They'll like to strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah! If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. Mm. That that whole power outage thing was just a fluke. Sure. No, it wasn't just a fluke. What was that? No, it wasn't just a fluke. The mastermind definitely orchestrated that power power outage. And that's not entire. And it's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I gotta reveal that. Is this the group photo? What? What? Again? Oh my. What? What do you want? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? What, what are you even talking about? What? What do you want? That's impossible! Oh, there we go. This should prove it. Yeah, that one was better this time. Look at there. Good job. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, uh, oh. I noticed it just a little while ago. When we were all comparing the photos we'd gotten. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity. An unusual circumstance. What? What's so unusual about them? Unusual circumstances is coming in all these pictures. Yeah, no Junko face. Less than the background. The unusual circumstances. When he got the photos, Mooper's face or Junko's face. There we go. Junko's face. That would have been funny if they put Celeste. I don't know. This is the other consistency. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. That's not the only thing common to every single photo, but okay. Sure. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. 
Xanadu! Xanadu. I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. <laughs> and the real Junko. Nachos, what are you doing right there? Are you still there? Are you good? Yeah, I'm chilling. Yep, yeah, just straight chilling, not even paying attention. Marmaduke. Marmaduke? Xanaduke? Is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Xanadu times two! What is Xanadu? With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no wait, hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything, right now! Oh, is this the comic book time? Oh, it's the comic book time. Did your sister just say spinach? <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? He's asking the question. <laughs> No, my sister did not say spinach. She was simply. Oh my god. This has a good sound, right? Oh, never mind. That makes more sense. <sighs> Is it that? I think it's that. Oh, there's something there. Um. Oh yeah, that probably. Cuh, cuh, cuh. Um. Probably that. Cause that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't. That no. That no. Does that go anywhere? No. I think that makes the most sense to me. Unless we missed one. Oh, we did. I did miss one. Never mind. There we go. Here's exactly what happened. We met the ultimate fashionista. Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind? Boy, buddy, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, my, my sister did not say spinach. <laughs> she, in she fact, did. didn't say anything remotely like that. She was talking to my dad about something. I don't know. I don't know why you got spinach out of that, but you know. Did she just pop by the sailor man? Anyways. Junko and Oshima. Man. Awesome spinach. Her body was awesome kept spinach. in the No, I'm kidding. I don't want spinach. I want something that's more tasty than that. Until yeah, so the Junko decided good. to put her body to use. I mean, something with spinach would be okay. Like, Maybe. Junko dragged Alfredo the body spinach. out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. Yeah, understandable. Spinach does... Doesn't really she have a fabricated taste, the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proven to be one big thorn in her it's side. It's more of a garnish. A garnish? Yeah. Meanwhile, she wanted yeah. us all to or think like Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. 
we're having this nice um, salad conversation, Spanish conversation, while Makoto's trying to uncover the entire mystery of this, of everything that we've been doing. So she put on the a mask game and then attacked. Coming yeah. to his peak lore, us talking about spinach. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Spent spinach. The spinach wars. The spinach wars. Spinach wars. Now TLC. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. We did gotta give give them props for the art of this game. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. That's that's interesting. The real Junko and Oshima. This this is this is good. That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? The fact that they laid the truth right under our noses the entire game. So brilliant. You mean brilliante? Brilliante. What? Are you broken again? Yep, yeah, broken. You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Endangered species. Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Over. <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Um, yeah. Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Oh, man. What is happening? <laughs> Why does he look like that? Oh. Ultimate despair, Junko and Ashima. We have been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. Why is she British? What? She's British. She British. Why is she British? Um. Well then. Holy shit! She's British. I suppose. Oh my god. I suppose this will be where it ends, not shows for today. With the British lady. Well, well anyway, thanks. By Lara Fagrat. The woman is British. Is out. British. Uh, yeah, she is British. Look at her. She has a, a crown. No, she's British, on, she British even on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. She's a bit British. It's Tuesday. Yeah, At least our schools are shooting grounds. And go, and go, and go listen to Big Ben do his bong thing. Okay, we're down here. Um, anyways, guys. Anyways, guys, a lot of hard to have a nice day. We'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. She's British.